And what's happening YouTube support tech tricks back to another video and today we're going to show you how to install parallels for your Mac with M1 chip. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, hit the notification bell so you can notify the next videos to come of tips and tricks on your Android and iPhone and also on your MacBook Pro. Check out much below at 1130.ca. Make sure to hit that like button so we can beat the YouTube algorithm. So today Parallels finally uh, release the, the beta version of parallel so that you'll be able to use arm based windows on your Mac uh, that has the Apple silicon chip. So let's go today. We're gonna test it out and see how well it does and how easy it is to install it. So here we go. So basically, I saw this article from uh, Mac Rumors. Basically, you can uh, now do this by having the steps right here. So here uh, they're telling us, the instruction here tells us that uh, we have to use uh, QU, QEMU. Personally, I use Parallels uh, Beta. So if you wanna, if you, if you wanna sign up for the beta version or the insider version for the Parallels, I'll link that down below. Go ahead and do that, sign up. And it's all for free. So you don't have you don't have to have parallels or anything like that. They actually send you a product key, so you don't have to like piracy or anything like that. This is all from parallels. The other thing that you need to do is download from the uh, the Windows Insider Preview ARM64. So basically, you have to sign up as well for the uh, Microsoft Insider, so that you can get this. So if when we click this right here. We've signed up already, like I said right here, we've already signed in. And it says here, prerequisites, blah, blah, blah. There you go. And then you just hit this to download the Insider Preview. So we've already downloaded that. You don't have to re-download it again. Now we are over here. I've started up my Parallels and this is where we are right now. We're gonna hit play and see what, we, what else we need to do. So right here, unable to start Windows 10 because of Mac. It's looking for M1 chip, so let's go ahead and create new. You will be prompt with this screen. Let's just hit continue right here. As you can see here, I've already downloaded the uh, Windows 10 Insider Preview right there. Now we can just hit create. Boom. Now we just wait. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty excited for this actually. I just, uh, I think this is pretty cool that you that Parallels was able to get this out right away. Of course, it's still in beta, so I'm sure there's gonna be a little bit of bugs here and there, but it's still pretty cool that they're able to do it right away. Pretty quick, actually, so that's, that's not bad at all. Yeah, let's just hit okay there, sure. So with Parallels as well, the best part about this is that you don't have to install different drivers. Uh, Parallels will do it themselves. So for example, with Q U uh, Q U M U, I think, um, you have the open base, the open source uh, programs for uh, virtual machines. Um, they you have to actually you have to actually use uh, drivers and install them uh, separately outside the uh, Windows 10 preview. So what ends up happening is you miss some drivers and some of them not stop working or anything like that. And if you're not very inclined on uh, installing all that, you then it'll be harder to do as well. But with Parallels, I guess um, they're pretty good. They do everything and they install every driver out there that you need for Windows 10. So it's pretty good. I think this is pretty easy. I think it's easier to use and install as well, uh, to be honest with you. With my experience with, I tried my best to actually uh, do the QUME open source install and it was quite difficult for me. So I didn't wanna really take too much time on it. So I just end up uh, waiting for the parallels. I didn't have to wait too much anyway because I just got this MacBook M1, MacBook Air M1 and um, yeah. So in reference, this MacBook Air is the base model, but the eight core version of the MacBook Air M1. So it has the eight core CPU and eight core GPU. It also has uh, eight gigs of RAM and uh, 512 internal hard drive. So there you go. 512 SSD, right? There you go. For the most part, I've been enjoying it. Uh, I think the MacBook 
Air had gone a long ways. Like I said from the past videos that I have, the MacBook Air before wasn't really something that you can use or for your for my type of for the things that I would use it for, for example. Like I use I, I edit a lot and I use this for pretty much everything and this is my main computer. If you have it as a, your main computer, it better be better do everything that you need, right? So for me, yeah, if you it needs to video edit and do a little bit of a program just like this, right? That what we're doing right now with Parallels. Uh, I was a, I wasn't able to do that with the past uh, MacBook Airs or any even the MacBook Pros was struggling to uh, render some of the long videos that I was making, so it was no good really. So I'm glad that MacBook Air was is able to do this now. And as you could see there, it's starting up. We we are at one Windows 10 point two right there. Very good, very good. There you go. And if someone needs to restart, we're just gonna okay. Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna try not to edit this as well and show you guys the full process of this so that you guys can can get the full experience of my struggles as well, right? And there you go. Wow, it's able to uh, start up. So I'll make this bigger a bit here. There you go. So as you could see there, it was able to install. Pretty good, pretty good. Oh, and we are in, there you go. Right here, it says here we're setting up uh, the video, uh, the keyboard. Device is ready, wow, there you go, pretty good. So there you have it guys, I was able to uh, open it up. So let's uh, just try out a few basic things here like Microsoft Edge right here. Yeah, pretty good, let's go to Google. Yeah, internet works, that's pretty good. My keyboard works, my trackpad works as well, so that's good. Pretty happy right now with uh, what I've been doing here. I've tested it for about an hour now. And basically we were able to install an x86 file, um, program, sorry, which is Steam. So it's pretty good. Later on, we're gonna test out the gaming. And for now, we're gonna do a Geekbench 5, which is just a trial version. Um, let's go ahead and uh, run a CPU benchmark right here. So to mention here, this is still the uh, uh, insider preview which is just the beta version and also a beta version of the parallels so this might not reflect the full capacity of the uh, the uh, power of the of the windows 10 on a mac m1 so just uh, keep that in mind so far i have i haven't run into any issues it's pretty smooth sailing really so it's not bad at all for uh, basically a first beta. That's pretty good. Now let's just do a story for the uh, fans out there. Oh, yes. Yep. That's right. Windows on MacBook Air M1. There you go. So here, this is our score. The score for the Parallels ARM Virtual Machine is uh, 1431 and 2676. It's pretty good. It's actually not bad for that kind of power. Basically, it's still beta, like I said earlier, and it's a virtual machine. And that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope I was able to help you on how to install Parallels on your Windows. Right now, we're installing a bunch of uh, games so that I can play it on the next video to come. I'm going to test it out as well if it see if it even works on, a, on an ARM-based device. And yeah, stay tuned. And... Um, Hopefully I finish this video by today or tomorrow and then you guys can see it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a good day and stay grateful. Peace.